employee engagement. Now, does that sound like one of those buzzword terms to you? If you come from a background like mine, economics and business, maybe it's not something you want to think about a whole lot. And yet we have to think about it because this is now something that matters a lot to the bottom line. And let me give you an example about of this. Boeing, the 737, has been all over the news the last few weeks. It's been grounded. What's the problem here? We got one answer to what the problem might be from a letter to the editor. It showed up in one of the Seattle newspapers from a union rep for the company that represents engineering employees at Boeing. Now, obviously, this gentleman, his name is Stan Sorcher, has his own viewpoint, his own biases, but I think we have to listen pretty carefully to what he says. What he says is that Boeing had a certain culture in the 1990s that really was about employee engagement. It was about innovation, it was about productivity, it was about ideas and telling people if you saw something wrong because the long term was what mattered. And in his view, and I think in the view of some others, since then, Boeing has switched to a cost-cutting kind of corporate culture, which is about getting costs down and getting stock prices higher. There's nothing wrong with that. Boeing has managed to raise stock prices nearly like 10 times, nine or 10 times over those years. So you can say this has all been a success. And yet we have that grounded plane. Now, I can't say for sure that the culture made that much difference. Uh, but I think it does in a lot of organizations. And I think it's time to have this honest conversation to say, how are we developing a corporate culture? And what is that ultimately going to mean for this company? And it's not just Boeing and it's not just this instance. You know, there's a lot of companies where the focus is on this quarter because we have to show good results this quarter. That's how people get their bonuses. Of course, we have to show good results. And yet, if you are investing in your company for the longer term, for four years or five years or 10 years, maybe you have to sacrifice a quarter. So we're at this point in economic history, we're in this point in corporate history, and I think we have to think about this and perhaps we have to make a decision about where we want